last lesson, we learned the central angle and its arc. So let's keep on, let's keep on going. We'll learn an uh, inscribed angle and uh, its arc. And I will, at the same time, I will show you what's the difference between central angle and inscribed angle. Okay, so keep on going. So as we learn, central angle is when its distance is uh, in exactly the center of the circle. So for example, uh, let me draw uh, so for example, uh, if if we see this is a center of the circle, then this is a central angle. This is a central angle. This is a, the red one. Let's see this is A. This is B. So the A O B is a central angle. So is when when the vertex is exactly the center of the circle. So we call that the central angle. So today let's let today's lesson we learn something different. So let's say if the vertex is not the center of the circle, but it's on the other point on the circle. For example, here. So let's call let's see this is a this point is C. So A C B is a not central angle because the vertex is not the ver uh, vertex A C B is not exactly on the center center of the circle. It's on the circle. So this point C is on the center. On, on the circle, it's not in in the center. It's on the circle. So we call this angle a inscribed angle. We call this inscribed angle. So uh, let's show you what this is. What's the difference between central angle and the inscribed angle? And also same time. So let's say if if this arc is one sixty degree. Let's see the arc AB. Remember, we how do you write arc? A B with a a little curve above it is one eight one sixty degree because it's a minor arc. It's less than one eighty degrees minor arc. Uh, it's one sixty degree. Then we know the angle A O B is also one sixty degree, right? Because we know the central angle equal is arc, right? So something different. Of obviously, you can see the AOB and the ACB. They have they have a different angle, right? You you can obviously obviously see they are different. So the rule I'm going to tell you also a different is the inscribed angle is half of its arc. Okay. So one more time, the inscribed angle is half of its intercepted arc. Okay. So one more, one last time, the inscribed angle ACB is half of its intercepted arc. Also, that is mean the inscribed angle will be half of its central angle. So if they have the same same intersection point, so we can see A A A is the the central the 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 intercept point of of this central angle also for this inscribed angle b is also uh, one intersection of this uh, central angle and the in, and the inscribed angle so if this is 160 degree the central angle is 160 degree so the inscribed angle will be half of 160 degree which you call 80 degree 80 degree okay so that is the different Let's let's do a summary. So the so inscribed angle is when the vertex is on the circle. Okay, central angle is when the uh, in vertex is exactly located at the center. Okay, so that's the definition. What's the difference between the definition? On theory, okay, so the central angle is exactly the same as its intercept its intercepted arcs, and the inscribed angle, okay, is half of its intercepted arcs. Okay, so let's keep on going. So name the intercepted arc for the angle. So so we see this is uh, the central, uh, the, in, the inscribed angle here, right? So it's, you can see CTL. So it's intercepted arc, you see from here, C to T, C to L, so it's C, 
CL. So CL is its intercepted arcs. Keep on going. CL. So CL with a little curve above it. Okay. So keep on going. So name the intercepted arc for this angle. For this angle, QRS. QRS. So you can see here. Okay. The answer obviously is already here. Okay. So uh, the in the intercepted arc is QVR. The Q. Let me write it down. QVR. QVR. So this is the arc this is the arc so again similar thing to as we learned in the previous slide okay when is a my major arc we're using three letter so qvr three letter when it's a, a minor arc we're using two letter two letter okay so as we we said as we said already to finding the measure of the inscribed angle, the inscribed angle is half of its intercepted arc. So if, let's see, if the intercepted arc is 160 degree, then the inscribed angle, this is, we can see this is obviously an uh, inscribed angle because the vertex is not in the center, it's on the circle. So it's 80 degree. So it's half of 160 will be 80 degree. Similar thing. If they tell you the inscribed angle is 6 680 degree, so they ask you the what is the arc? What is the intercepted arc? So that will be double of the 80 degree, which is 80 times by 2 equal 160. Okay. So let's do a example. This look example map. When you look like like when you look at this example, you might feel like this is super hard, but it, it's really not. Let's read the question. What do we call this type of angle? Okay, so the measure of this inscribed angle is half of the measure of the ins inscribed arc. So obviously half of the inscribed arc. So that's called the inscribed angle. Okay, how do you solve for y? How do you solve for y? So we can see this arc, this arc. Is one one twenty right one twenty, so one twenty. So exact so x is a central angle right. So because our for x the vertex the vertex here is exactly at the center. So that means that the central angle is exactly the same to its intercepted arc. So this also one twenty degree. Then let's look at y. So y is a is this an inscribed angle or a central angle? So the y located the sin the vertex located exactly on the circle. It's on the circle, not the central. So the y is inscribed angle. So inscribed angle is half of its intercepted arcs. So 120 degree divided by two, which equal 60 degree. So y equal 60 degree. All right. 